yo if your stutter is on and off meaning it's constantly fluctuating good days and bad days you stutter more some days you stutter less other days you're constantly going up and down and it's driving you crazy and it may be even days or maybe months i know for me there was times where i would stutter severely and hold back severely for about like three months at a time up to like six months and then out of nowhere it felt like i would go for weeks just like completely fluent just like like in shock like what just happened and this realization would often happen to me when i would when i'd be driving my car i'd be driving and i think to myself I haven't stuttered at all in like the past three days. And every time I had this thought, the next day I would wake up and I start stuttering a lot more severe again and then holding back. And then this would last like three months, six months, a long time. And then it was constantly up and down. And the point where I decided to work on my stutter is I didn't see it was going to go back off. Like I, what, what would keep me kind of in my comfort zone when I'd be stuttering is thinking to myself, hey, I'm gonna get better. Like it's gonna, my stutter's gonna be less, sev less severe, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, but I know it's just gonna like chill. And then for most, most of my life it did. It'd go up and down, up and down. And that would keep me in this comfort zone because yeah, it's, I guess it's not that bad because I have these days where I'm off and that's fine. But it hit a point where I was going like six, eight months and no sign of getting better at all, only getting worse, only getting worse. This was when I was like 18, 19 years old. And I was like, I need to change. I like it. What if this continues? And it was getting worse and worse and worse to the point where I was crying every night. I was crying every night in my bed thinking that I'm like, I'm wasting my life, completely wasting my life. So if you're somebody right now who stutter, stutter goes up and down, congratulations, you're just like everybody else who stutters. We, we all go up and down, except for like me now, but like, Back then, when I didn't know, when I didn't overcome my stutter yet, it would constantly go up and down. And I just want to let you know, you're not alone in that. You're not all. You're not alone, and it's 100% possible to hit a stage where it's no longer up and down, but it's just fucking up. You're you're not thinking about your stutter. It's like you forgot about your stutter, and you're expressing yourself freely in every interaction, right? Now I've made other videos explain how, how to do that. Um, the process that I work with my clients to hit that stage where you're no longer going down. As I'm editing this video, I just wanna add a note in here that my stutter still goes up and down, but it goes up and down to the point where it's no longer like, oh, this is a bad stuttering day. This is a good stuttering day. It's not like drastic. It's just like some days you may get, like you may prolong words a little bit more, but it's nothing that I consciously notice anymore. It's if I were to reflect back on the conversation of like, huh, that was a bit harder. Like I did um, stutter a bit more. I did prolong my words a bit more, but it, it doesn't, deter any type of positive thinking it doesn't deter any type of positive emotions it's just like natural now and some days yeah it does get a little bit more severe but it's nothing that takes a conscious thought of like oh no i'm on a bad day it just no longer bad days no longer good days it's just default is i don't give a fuck about it and it's barely there at all just a little a little clarification so you can look at those videos to see like oh shit chase does know actually how to overcome this the stutter if you've already seen my videos and this vid and this video i just made right now you're watching and it's like 
that resonates with me. My stutter goes up and down. I know Chase also had it. I know Chase is has overcome his stutter. I know Chase is helping people who stutter. And what the fuck am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? Like it it's going to eventually your stutter is going to eventually hit a point where you're not going to know if it's going to be be better now. You're you're just not. I met some people who are like 70 years old fucking miserable because they waited for the, their stutter to get better and it didn't. And they kept hiding and hiding and hiding and hiding and now they're living a life of regret. So I made this I made this video strictly to connect with you of like I understand you 100%. I know what you're going through. And if you want to speak effortlessly and you want to do so without fear, doubt or anxiety like in a room by yourself and just be be the person you know you can be. Express your funny personality that you know you that you have. Stop seeking validation from everybody you speak to, especially in group settings, especially with strangers, but you can just be your fucking self that you know you can, you can live up to your potential. If you want that, like I did, I was burning, desiring for that shit. <sighs> that my life purpose right now is to help you achieve that. All right. So if you want to achieve that, click the link down below in the description. You can book a free call with me. We'll hop on a call. I'll explain to you exactly Oh, well, first of all, you'll you'll explain to me what you're going through. And then I will explain to you exactly based upon what you're going through, what we need to work on and what it's going to look like and make a plan for you to address this step by step inside of 10 weeks. So you can overcome your stutter in just 10 weeks. Guaranteed. All right. It's guaranteed or your money back, which I've yet to have anybody close to saying they want their money back because once you address the real root issues of why you're caring so much about what somebody thinks about you, why you're holding back so much when you're speaking, why you have this completely ne completely negative um, attachment to your stutter and why your self-esteem is so low. Once we address the real root issues, that like you will express yourself freely. It's not about speech techniques. It's not about breathing techniques. It's about addressing the real root issues and allowing yourself to feel safe to express yourself in all environments and situations, just like in a room by yourself. If you want to work on this and you want to see how we're going to do it, we want me to lay out the step-by-step -step process, book that free call link down below in the description, and I will hear you on the call. Peace.